Man, I've been waiting a long time to do this video. Because you guys can see the title and the thumbnail, we are creating the best team in 2K possible right now. So if you look at my team right now, we don't have a single player, and that's what we're doing in this video, creating the best team possible, and then we'll get into one game with it as well. And I'm so hyped to do this because I've been on a grind to try and get the best team, and we've finally done it. So I think without further ado, it's time to get into the first position, being the starting point guard. So coming into that position, we've got the 98 overall pink diamond Giannis. Now I know he's only a pink diamond. The thing is, he's the best pink diamond in the game, and he's better than a lot of the Galaxy Opals at point guard, and I prefer to run this card at starter. I feel like he just plays better and I absolutely love this card. I have a shoe on him. He's giving him 87 three ball, 89 ball handling. Like the card is just a beast all around and he's got good mental stats and he's also very fast with 95 speed with ball. And then to go with that, he has 30 Hall of Fame badges and this is a six foot 11 point guard with Hall of Fame Dimer, Hall of Fame Clamps, Hall of Fame Interceptor, which is one of my favorite badges. And like he has all the badges that you want on a short point guard, like Slithery Finisher and stuff. But then He's six foot 11. He also has gold range extender, gold quick draw. Like I love this card. I love length and Giannis has a lot of it. Next up at the starting shooting guard position. This card has been out for a while, but it's literally probably the best shooting guard or second best in the game. And it's none other than Galaxy Oval Tracy McGrady. He's always a beast in 2K and he doesn't disappoint this year. First of all, I love the card art. And second of all, he's six foot eight at the shooting guard position, which is one of the tallest you can get. And the card is just an all rounder monster. He's obviously a very good shooter with a 98 three ball, 99 driving dunk too. Also really good ball handling. I actually love how good he is at rebounding and he's also got very good speed. But one thing that's also underrated about him is he has an 82 block. He actually has quite a lot for me. And his release is absolutely fire. And he also has Hall of Fame range extender and quick draw. He has pretty much every single badge of shooting on Hall of Fame. And he's got clamps as well and interceptor. As I said, one of my favorites, pogo stick. The man is just a beast. He's always all around the court with his speed and with his shooting. I love it. And now, for the starting small forward position, I love this man every year in 2K, and it's none other than Galaxy Opal Kevin Durant. You guys can probably see a theme with all these players. Hey, they are they're quite long. But yeah, Kevin Durant does not disappoint this year because he's a 99 on both offense and defense, six foot nine. He's pretty much exactly like T Mac, except an inch taller and plays a small forward. He's got 97 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 95 ball handling at small forward, which is crazy. Good rebounding. He actually gets a lot of rebounds for me with a 95 speed, 90 speed with ball, and then good defense defense as well. He's also got great dunking stats and throws it down a lot with 38 Hall of Fame badges. Like, there's just nothing I can complain about. The thing I love most on my cards is Hall of Fame range extender and quick draw. And he comes with both of those. He also comes with hot zone hunter. Like, pretty much every shooting badge is a sniper and he's also a great defender with Hall of Fame clamps and intimidated too. The one thing I wish he had was Hall of Fame interceptor, but he still has it on gold, so not too bad. Next position is the starting power forward. And this is literally one of the most expensive cards in the game because he had to complete the whole Prime Series 2 set and we were able to get him as none other than Galaxy Opal Kevin Garnett. I'm a huge fan of this card. I feel like he's kind of underrated and also I love the card art. But yeah, he's 6 foot 11, 99 on both offense and defense and 6 foot 11 is definitely good for a power forward position. He's a great scorer all around but also a very good shooter with 94 three ball, great dunker with 98 driving dunk, 89 ball handling and then his defense is just perfect. Like literally A plus. Rebounding is insane too. And he's also super fast with 94 speed, 91 speed with ball. This card is like pretty much a glitched card. And just to go with that, yes, he has Hall of Fame range extender. The one thing I don't really like about this card is his release. He does come with Hall of Fame quick draw, but I still feel like his release is a bit slow. But with all these stats, like you guys can see his badges. He just like, he, you can't say he's bad. Like just as an example, he's got Hall of Fame giant slayer. Like what? And add all the badges up. That's 66 badges this man has. The one that really surprises me is how doesn't he have Hall of Fame brick wall? Anyway, that's just me. Now I have the starting center position. This one might surprise a lot of people, but I prefer this card at the center position and I also prefer him on the starters. He is the rarest player card in the game and it's none other than Galaxy Opal Anthony Davis. We were able to get this man very, very recently and you guys can see he's a 99 on both offense and defense, six foot 10, but that wingspan, I'm in love with it. We've got a diamond shoe and contract on him and just have a look at these stats. So 99, pretty much everything. Like 99 driving layup on a center, 99 mid range, 97 three ball, 99 free throw, 99 standing dunk, 99 driving dunk. Then he's got 90 ball handling, 95 for the passing, 99 block, 99 steal, 99 interior defense, 90 perimeter, 99 for both offensive and defensive rebound, 97 speed. He's so fast, 93 speed with ball, 99 strength. Like how many times have I said 91? 91. 
one. The answer is zero, Angus, because you were meant to say 99. And look at those mental stats. You can't get any smarter than that. I guess he's almost like me. That was a joke, by the way, but he does have a 100 driving dunk tendency. I don't understand why he doesn't have a 100 standing dunk tendency, but it's all right. But then we go over and have a look at his badges. He has 57 Hall of Fame. You guys heard that right. And going through them, he's got Hall of Fame brick roll, catch and shoot, corner specialist, like all the shooting badges, pretty much volume shooter, lob city finisher, rim protector, box, clamps, defensive leader, interceptor, which I love, intimidator two, rebound chaser, pogo stick, which is also one of my favorites, worm, back down punisher, contact finisher. And when we go down a bit more, yes, he has Hall of Fame raging standard, Hall of Fame quick first step as well, hot zone hunter. Unfortunately, he only has quick draw on gold. I wish that was Hall of Fame and also Dimer, but it's all right. He's still a beast. So yes, this is the starting five and you guys might be looking at it going, there's better players at these positions. What are you talking about, Angus? Now that's where we have a look at my bench and I prefer to have a lot of firepower on my bench. Like to be honest, I think you could say my bench is better than my starters because at starting point guard off the bench, I run probably my favorite player in the game and that player is Galaxy Opal Ben Simmons, fully evolved. The reason I love this card is he's a long boy because he's six foot 10 at the point guard position, can play defense, and has a 93 point shot, 95 ball handling too, but also 97 speed with ball. You, you can't ask for much more. And also just to go with that, this is Ben Simmons and he's got Hall of Fame range extender. I love this card. And now at the backup shooting guard position, I actually didn't expect to use this card when I got him. I knew his stats look good, but I just didn't really like his height and it's Dwayne Wade. So the Galaxy Oval version, the second last collector level, he can play shooting guard and point guard. I personally run him as shooting guard. And the thing that I wasn't sure I'd like about him was that he's six foot four, which is a little bit on the shorter side, especially when you have a look at my whole other team, but these stats, like, you can't really ask for much more. He's literally like the best shooter in the game. In my opinion, he does have the best release in the game. Look at those passing stats. Like it's just 99s absolutely everywhere. Like 99 speed, 99 speed with ball. Look at those defensive stats. Athleticism is off the charts. Mental stats is off the charts too. He's also got a 99 block to go with it. And it is so nice to have that. Again, he's got 59 Hall of Fame badges, two gold. And more importantly, he does come with range extender. But I think the most important one for this team Wade is Hall of Fame quick draw, which makes his release, in my opinion, the quickest in the game and also the best in the game. Now, as for backup small forward, this is a position that I kind of go in between. I'm not too sure who to run here. Like I've tried out all these Galaxy Opal small forwards and I'm a fan of them. The one that I just keep on going back to because he did get updated and he's so much better is none other than Dr. J. So the Galaxy Opal Julius Irving, yes, he's only six foot six, but for some reason he just feels like he plays so much taller. He's got a 94 three ball, 99 driving dunk, like really Really good passing. He's also a freak athlete with 97 speed, 92 speed with ball, great mental stats. The one thing I love about him though is he's got great rebounding and he gets so many. He just flies in and grabs them. And he just became so much better when they updated all of his badges. Like he actually makes so many whites and everything for me too. He has Hall of Fame Interceptor. Unfortunately, this is the one card so far that we don't have Hall of Fame Range Extender on. But still, I feel like he has a great release and makes so many of them for me. So. I always come back to him. And now this next player actually came out of my team for a little bit, but then I just realized I miss him and he played really well for me. And that player at the backup power forward position is Galaxy Opal, Andre Kirilenko. He's just an all round beast. Like he can literally do everything. He's six foot nine, one of the best shooters in the game with a 94 three ball and also a really good release. He dunks way more often than only an 85 driving dunk, but has 92 ball handling at power forward. And his defense is absolutely insane. And like his speed is so good for the position too. He's got 99 lateral quickness, which is probably the reason I love him. And he's good with mental stats. He's got great dunking tendencies and also 39 Hall of Fame badges with 22 gold. The one that I love the most though is Hall of Fame range extender because I feel like it's really OP at that position. But one that I find really underrated is Hall of Fame Dimer. Having that badge on your bigs at Hall of Fame is so good. He has interceptor. He has defensive leader. Like he, he just does everything for me. And now the one that you guys have probably been waiting for, probably wondering why is off the bench. As I said, I just prefer him playing him off the bench. It's kind of weird. But that player is the most expensive card in the game being Galaxy Oval Shaq. And that's the glitch version. And oh my, this card's insane. Of course, it's Shaquille O'Neal. What do you expect? He's seven foot one, 325 pounds. He's an absolute monster. 
But then it's the glitch version. So he's got a 93 ball, 99 standing, 98 driving dunk, 86 ball handling. His defense is absolutely insane too. 98 offensive, 99 defensive rebound. He's so fast with 94 speed, 88 speed with ball, 88 lateral quickness too. Great mental stats. The dunking tendencies are off the charts. And to go with it, he comes with 42 Hall of Fame badges, 25 gold. That's 67 all up. And then he also comes with Hall of Fame range extender and quick draw. That's really all you need to know. Every badge on this card is crazy good. It comes with quick first step, clamps as well, interceptor, intimidator. Like when I first saw this card, I knew I had to get him. He cost a million MT, but for me, he's worth it. So yeah, this is basically the starters and the bench that I run. And I know some of you guys might be thinking that I do have better players at certain positions. This is just me personally. I, I love this team. Like I know I could get Galaxy over Chris Stapps for more length at backup power forward, but I'm just not a huge fan of him. I could also get Galaxy over Bol Bol, but I actually feel like Andre Kirilenko is better. To be honest, the two positions I can see change quite quickly in this team if a new card comes out is either backup small forward or backup power forward because the rest of these players it's going to take it's going to take a beastly card to be able to replace them but anyway now we have these final three spots and these are kind of throwaway spots and at the first one it might surprise you that i don't actually use this card we are going to use galaxy opal carl anthony towns next spot up i want to use another big i love this card and it's not other than galaxy opal wilt chamberlain that's the one that you get for going 12 and 0 and we'll just run him at the back of the bench to flex and then next up at our final position also one of the most expensive cards one of the first galaxy opals i think he was the first galaxy opal you could pretty much get off the auction house for completing the prime series one set we are using none other than galaxy opal ray allen so uh yeah looking at this team are you guys impressed we've also got terry stotts as our coach to be able to add a plus four three ball to every single one of our players and the crazy part is i've got this team and i've still got 1.1 million mt so if we were to have a look at some galaxy opals i could pick up like yes i could get kareem i used him for a little bit wasn't a huge fan. Like Donovan Mitchell, Allen Iverson aren't going to cut it for me. Trey Young, definitely not. Lonzo Ball is a player I actually am thinking about picking up. Luka Doncic had him for a little bit. Wasn't a huge fan. Bol Bol is definitely one that I'm thinking about getting back. It just pretty much depends on how Andre Kirilenko plays for me. Then there's also Galaxy Opal Taco Fall. And for the way I personally play, Taco just doesn't fit my game style. He's just too slow. As I said, Kristaps, yes, could be an upgrade, but I did use him. I wasn't that much of a fan. Devin Booker is a no. Kyrie Irving is a no. Like, that's the thing. Going through all these players off the Galaxy Opal, like, filter in 2K, I don't even know who I could get. Larry Bird, I know. I did actually have this card for a little bit, and then I replaced him with Julius Irving because I preferred Dr. J. I guess it just comes down to personal preference because a lot of these cards here, you guys might be saying, are better than who I have in my team. But for me right now, like, I, I don't really have any complaints with my team. So yeah, this is the team. For some reason, it's a 98 overall. It definitely should be a 99. And even if I put in a Galaxy Opal point guard, you guys will say it's still 98. Also, fun fact, I hate that Magic Johnson, just thought I'd let you know. But yeah, this is the squad that we're rocking with. Now, I'm going to get into a game, but I'm literally not going to show many clips at all. If you guys want to see a full gameplay with this squad, be sure to let me know. I'm probably going to show like only five clips or something, just the best of the best, and you guys will see that. So, I'm going to turn off my face cam so then I can play normally with this squad, and uh, let's just admire it for another second, and Without further ado, let's get into the game. And here we go, our opponent has a pretty good team as well, but we should show him up here. There it is, first possession with the steal. And you guys see, my team running out is just way too fast, so we get the dunk there with Giannis. There's that length once again. Giannis all the way, let's throw up the self lob and get the finish. This is just Ben Simmons for you, like, what? Andre Kirilenko, he don't miss. Watch D-Wade here. You can just pull up everything and he makes everything. Oh yeah, D-Wade's wide open. It's a green every time. Yeah, there's a steal and look who's out. D-Wade is, so let's just throw up the lob. Back away. What? <laughs> yep, here's a deep three for Kevin Garnett. That's going to miss, but... We're always on the boards, and that's the thing I love. We always get second chance. What a steal that one was, and now we're going to throw it up to T-Mac. Give me that, he says, and what are we going to do on this one? self value oop time to Tracy McGrady for the finish. Oh my, look at the steals though. Look at the steals. Let's throw up the lob to Giannis once again. Yeah, we get another steal and all we got to do with D-Wade is just stop, pop. It doesn't matter where. We got to miss, but the putback's in. What about the lob here? Throw it up to Shaq for the finish. Oh my word. Okay, D-Wade. That's too much space. Too much space. Told you. Give me that. We get another steal and let's kick this one back. Stop, pop. It's going to be a green or it's going to go in anyway. You know what time it is? Logo D-Wade time. Bang! Another D-Wade shot. Another green. And yeah, so it looks like we are going to get this win. Winning by 51 
points. Wait, no, 49. And I gotta ask a question. Did my team disappoint? Absolutely not. D Wade was the star of the game with 21 points, shooting 8 of 11. And look at our shot percentages. Like Kevin Durant didn't miss. Giannis also had 11 assists with one block and three steals. T Mac was an all round monster. Anthony Davis put in the work too. Ben Simmons, Shaq did his thing. Kevin Garnett was good with the steals and the boards and the points. Andre Kirilenko did his thing. Dr. J was the only one that didn't score, but he still had three rebounds, three assists, two steals. And obviously we didn't use Cat, Will, or Ray Allen. But just have a look at this team comparison. Shooting 73%, 62% from the three point line. And uh, yeah, we got 20 steals. And off those turnovers, we got 28 points off them. That's what wins it for me. And we beat a God squad by 49 points. So there it is. That is what in my opinion is the best team in my team. Let me know what you guys would change about this team. Remember, I do have players that I could use in those positions, but these are just my personal favorite players in the game. Like Andre Kirilenko actually popped off for me in that game. And I feel like he's a great team chemistry player. I don't know what it is. He just always plays really well for me. So I feel like that's one that a lot of you guys are going to be surprised with for me to put him in the best squad for 2k, but personally, I think you should be there. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button if you did. I've got some exciting videos coming up soon, so be on the lookout for those, and the God Squad gameplay will be coming very soon. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Smash that like button, subscribe if you new, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.